<laughs> well, hello. And welcome. Okay, I got an echo. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta turn it. Okay. Uh. Hello. And welcome to another 360 video. This video is in 360, and that's why my blog is called the Ian's 360 Vlog, I think. I don't know. I've named the stupid name. I've changed the name a hundred times. <clears throat> okay, so I made a little video, and it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. So there we go. We're going to go upside down now. So if you're wearing a VR headset, uh, maybe you'll be like, Whoa, dude, I'm upside down. I don't like this. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Which is the intention I had all along. <laughs> All right. My roommates probably. I don't think they care. They don't hear me. I kind of asked them. I was like, did you hear me in there yelling at people? Sometimes I'll sit in my room and just have these imaginary fights with people. And I think I'm winning the argument that I should have won like back when it happened originally. Or when I wanted to have an argument. But then I usually just say something insulting to this imaginary person that I'm fighting with alone in my apartment. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, how are you? Um, I've got a lot of these videos to get through. I've recorded a ton of them and never posted any of them. This is me and my friend Steve throwing a frisbee in Astoria Park trying to get some form of exercise that doesn't involve just walking like old people. I'm in my mid to late 40s and I'm already walking around like an old person because all I do is sit all day. <clears throat> in fact, my gut has gotten so big that women have been objectifying me. Not as a sex object, but a not have sex with that object object. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. I get stared at down there a lot, though. I mean, like extended stares. Like, come on. I feel like some people actually stare at my belly to make the point that they are staring at my belly and what the hell is wrong with you and you need to do something about that. In fact, I have a friend at the coffee shop. Well, he's a barista. And like every day he brings up these fat stories about not being fat anymore and being healthy. Usually he does this while smoking a cigarette. Mm. And I mean, that's cool, but you know, and to do this every day, it's a little overkill. I, I don't know what change he expects me to make in a 24-hour period. But, I don't know, I appreciate his help. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh -huh. So, I got a gut. You know what? My, my grandpa and my hat dad had a gut. So, I'm born with this. All right, there we go. Uh, there's a little uh, low self-esteem building exercises uh, talk about yourself in the negative it's always good and uh, change yourself by by looking at at what you want people to say at your funeral you know because when you're dead uh, you're really gonna be like so glad that people are sitting there and going I am so not glad Ian died of a coronary heart disease so not glad about that then they'll have the funeral and it'll, it'll be done and sometimes people think back and go, oh, yeah, Ian, he died. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> so, you know, uh, on the motivational tip, uh, yeah, talk bad about yourself. Give yourself low self-esteem. And then imagine you being dead. And people either uh, arriving or not arriving to your funeral for me, I think no one's going to show up. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Not that I would know. But then who cares? And that probably explains my attitude of really being a huge douchebag uh, on the internet. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I make myself laugh. It's really inappropriate. 
are uncouth. Whatever. I got a bunch of videos to get through. Holy cow. I hope you like this one. It had some atmospheric, atmospheric sounds to it. Anyway, keep watching. Like and subscribe and then send me money. Lots of love. Goodbye.